After a million years, it is time to take the old girl home. At a jumper, oh, there we go. At a jumper, she's dead obviously. We had to move the trailer, which we're taking. And then I'm gonna load the Mazda up on the flatbed and take her to her new home where I will finally after many of years, place the oil metering pump. That a lot of people delete anyway. But she also needs a clean like everything else I own because I had no place and now I do. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna try to lower that over there so I don't have to run that over. I'll load it up. Oh yeah, she's loaded. Then sorry, I had to drag her on the chains, but she's loaded. Here's a mess. But it has begun after forever. We have made well we have retrieved the rx7 in all its glory uh, in this series of stuff we're gonna dive into it see exactly what i'm missing install the new oil metering pump we're gonna figure out what's damaged what's not so far i know the battery's dead brakes are kind of choppy um Actually, correction, this thing has no brakes. Uh, interior still garbage as it was. Uh, I don't know, like I said, my main concern is with it sitting, how bad is it underneath? So, in the next, in the coming week, I'm gonna jack it up. Still runs, still drives, battery shot, clutches semi, weird kind of engaged and not engaged i don't know i mean it still works no not a big deal um but no brakes my hair's a mess battery shot what else what else everything else that an old car that's been sitting oh sorry everything else that an old car that's been sitting needs it's gonna need love it's gonna need attention we're gonna have to go through it all uh that body panel right there will need to be fixed uh, can you see anything underneath Undercarriage still looks clean, surprisingly, for our dirt, but I think first things first, she will need a cleaning because just sitting outside forever. Damn, she looks good. I was excited to get this car back. Look, at, it's just filthy, though, all of it. Um, it's funny, though, because even though the battery is super weak, let's see. Can I get them both to go? Last time I got it, it was only one that went up. Oh, they both went up. They go up, but they're really slow. Lights still work. <laughs> Everything still works, but yeah. I've got the body kit at home. I don't know if I'm gonna... Oh, I lost the wheels. What did I put? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna throw these wheels on there. Of course, I only have three of them. Drift spares for the back. Whoop. I don't know what the plan is, but as you can see behind me, I just got new lighting. Kind of gave uh, gave the shop a lot more lighting, just due to the fact that I'm a cheap bastard. I'm trying to save energy. I hope you guys are excited as I am to finally start working on this monster because I have not had time nor space to work on it, and I finally got a space clearly. Finally got a shop so I can finally work on it. I can get it going, get it running. Hopefully have some fun with it. Oh, you can't see anything. There you go. Hopefully have some fun with it. Hopefully get to enjoy it finally after, I think, I don't know, got it like five years ago. So, God, my, that body stuff. I know everyone loves the FD. I love the FD too, but the FD's everywhere. The FC, not so much. <laughs> there we go. F, I mean, I guess probably just due to the fact that the uh, FC is a lot more attainable. And as you can see, I still got a lot of the parts for the car. I don't know. Maybe I'll post a link to when I got it. But 
Long story short, I got this car for 250 bucks. Oh. Long story short, I got this car for 250 bucks. Um, two turbos and tires that I want. No, wheels. Yeah, 250 bucks, two turbos, and wheels that I wound up trading for an exhaust that I didn't need. So, overall, I think it's a it's a really good deal considering it's really clean. Uh, Pennsylvania car, very little rust from what I can see. Most of my other cars, like that one for instance, and this one, but this one's solid all the way around. Does need love, does need attention. First things first, we'll get the oil mirroring pump in, clean it up, and see what, if we can kind of get most of this monster red paint to show again. Show and glow. These tires are probably old. I'm surprised they still hold air. Um, this car has definitely seen better days, but hopefully I bring it back to its glory. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Back introducing the FC again after years. Um, I'm excited to work on it. Not sure what's going on with the S54. Not sure what's going on with that guy. Uh, that guy. We don't need to worry about that guy. And then back there, those two projects. That one. Oh, oh. That one. That one. That one we're not worried about. It's those two we gotta worry about. But that's for a different video. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Um, Dadder. Dadder. You guys take care. Have a good day. Goodbye.